have three manuals and their schedule and on today's tutorial we want to look at how we are going to take off the quantities of those manuals welcome back again to my youtube channel if you are new here you know how we do it subscribe share and don't forget to leave a comment now we have a manual we've been given one manual on the section on the plan so we start by studying this manual the manual has a concrete bed which is 150 millimeters and then this manual remember when we are doing drainage we need manuals for it to be for it to be able to take care of the of the waste so we have 150 millimeters the depth of the concrete bed and then if you can look at the manual the manual is made of brick brick wall which is 150 millimeters and then we have the plain concrete benching this one here is the benching and then the manual also has a concrete slab which is 100 millimeters and then the slab it has cover and frame this one for us to be able to access the manual and then we have plaster we have plastered our, our brick wall on the inside that is 12 millimeters that is rendering and then what again do we have we've been given the size of the manual internal size of manual one and two is a thousand by eight hundred and then internal size of manual three is 150 sorry 1500 by 1200 and then we've been given the invert if you look at here we have the depth invert and then for us to get to the bottom of the concrete bed we need the depth invert and then we add 100 and then we add the we add the concrete bed and then there's a projection here which is 150 millimeters then we have different covers for them manual one and manual and man, manual one and two and manual three so we are going to start with the items that we need to measure we are going to list the item we have vegetable soil excavation pit for manual and then we do have extra over for rock and then we have items concrete bed walling benching cover slab cover and frame formwork to slab and and the finishes so we are going to start with the excavating vegetable soil so we need to excavate this area here we need to excavate this area the length the length here so for us to get the length and width of excavation we are going to take the internal size which is a thousand from here up to here is a thousand and then we add the wall which is 150 on both sides and then we add the projection which is also 150 on both sides so it will be a thousand plus 150 by two that is 300 plus another 150 by two that is 300 giving us 600 and then we do the same to the widget and then the same to manual manual number three for us to be able to get our length and and widget and then we are we are excavating 150 millimeters so we add that one that is a thousand by eight hundred this is for the this is for the wall and then this is for the projection so we add on the length and with it and then we get sixteen hundred by fourteen hundred and then for manual two <coughs> internal size is fifteen hundred by twelve hundred we still add the same and then we get twenty one hundred and eighteen hundred so we book that one one point six zero by one point four these ones they are two manual one and two and then for manual three we have 2.10 by 1.80 and then excavate vegetable soil starting from ground level average depth 250 millimeters and remove from site we go to process to pits for manual we proceed so for us to excavate the pits we need to find the length and the and the width and the depth <coughs> so we are going to start with the depth because where we are excavating is where we have already where we are excavating the pits is where we have already cleared so we have these lengths these lengths and these widths are what we are using for the pits so what we only need for the pits is the depth so for the depth we have invert level plus 100 plus bed we've demonstrated that one invert level plus 100 plus the bed which is 150 for us to get the for us to get the depth so for manual one and two is going to be 1200 and then for manual three is going to be 2600 so with the depths and the lengths and widths we can be able now to book the the excavation so 1.60 by 1.4 by 1.1.2 which is the depth and then there are two 
And then we proceed to the next one, Manol, Manol 3. The length was 2.10 by 1.80 by 1.5. Remember, this 2600 we are booking in stages. So we'll first book 1500. And then whatever remains is 1100. So 1100 will book will be booked in the second stage. So excavate vegetable soil, st starting from strip level depth not exceeding 1.5 meters. And then what remains is 1.1 for manual three. So we take the same length 2.10, 1.80, 1.0. 1.10 data depth exceeding 1.5 1.50 but not exceeding 3.0 meters and then we remove from site the last two items so hmm, we proceed to item we allow for necessary planking and structuring upper sand dewatering yes we are proceeding well so we go to the next item concrete bed so this is our concrete bed here and it is 150 millimeters thick. So remember when you are booking the concrete, we only need the length and the width, and then according to the SMM, and then we mentioned the thickness of the of the of the bed. Remember this bed is below 300 millimeters. So if it's above 300 millimeters, is when we do it in cubic meters. So our length is still the same, 1.6 by 1.60. The width is 1.4. These are two. This is supposed to be here. This is supposed to be there. So for manual one and two, so it's two. And then for manual three is 2.1 by 1.80. Say plain concrete, one is to three is to six in 150 millimeters thick bed. So we proceed to the next item, that is walling. So we have a wall here, which is 150 millimeters thick brick wall. So we need to find the mini gut. That is perimeter along the, if that is our manual. So we need to find the, the mini gut. So we are going to take the internal, internal length for manual one, that is a thousand. And then for manual two is, 800 we add the two and then we multiply by two and then we add for the thickness for us to get the the perimeter so that is a thousand plus 800 that is 1800 by two that's six plus 40 so our t is 150 the thickness of the wall is 150 150 by four is 600 so we add that one we get 4200 and then the height of the wall the height of the wall is going to start from this point here up to that point there so what we need this is the the invert was 1200 plus 100 that gives us 1200 plus 100 that gives us 1300 and then we less the slab which is 100 so we are left with a depth of 1200 so our depth is 1200 and then the other one the invert was so that is for manual one and two. So for manual two, let's find find the mini guard. So it's fifteen hundred by twelve hundred. We repeat the same process. We add for us to find the perimeter. We multiply by two. That gives us fifty four hundred. Fifty four hundred. We add forty. That gives us six thousand. For our height, the invert was twenty five hundred. We add the hundred and then we subtract the slab. So this one is twenty six minus hundred, giving us twenty five hundred millimeters so we book that one we book the wall remember we are booking wall in square meters that is height by sorry mini guard by the height so 4.20 by by the height was 1.20 for manual one and two and then 6.0 by 2.50 and then say 150 millimeters thick C stone brick wall laid and embedded with one to three cs mortar so that is how we do our walling in fact we had done a video on how to calculate mini guard so you can still refer to that video so we proceed to the next the benching we are going to create a query sheet and ask ourselves what is the average height of benching and then we assume 200 millimeters so if this is our benching here this one here is the benching. So we are assuming this one to be 200 and then this one also to be 200.
200. So the average height will be 200 plus 200 divided by 2. That gives us, of course, 200. So we are going to book them 1 by 2, manual 1 and 2. And then we say plain concrete in 1 is to 3, is to 6 benching. Average height 200 millimeters to internal to manual internal size 1,000 by, by 800. This is 800. And then we say ditto but to size 1,500 by 1200 millimeters so that is how we book for benching mm -hmm. now let's proceed to to the next item we are going to the slab now for the slab we need to find the the length and the width remember we had internal a thousand by 800 and also 1500 by 1200 now we need to add 150 150 that is 300 for us to get 1300 by 1100 for manual one and two and then for manual three we are going to get 1800 by 1500 now what we need to do we just book the length and the and the width because it's in square meters so it's 1.3 by 1.1 by two manual one and two and then the other one is 1.8 by 1.5 so they share the same thickness that is 100 so we say vrc suspended cover slab one is to two is to four in 20 millimeters aggregate in 100 millimeters thick yeah in 100 millimeters thick because we had already mentioned the the slab and then upper sand brc mesh reference number let's confirm the the mesh a142 that is a 142 that is our reference number so we have casted the slab now like that assuming that is our slab so this is 1300 by 1100 but we have a cover so we need to deduct this cover that is 600 by 450 the concrete that we have measured we need to deduct where we are going to place our cover remember here it's an opening so we have a, we all we we have an opening here which is 600 by 450 for us this opening is what gives us access to the to the manual so we are going to deduct 600 by 450 and then remember we have three manuals the cover the cover for the boat manual is the same so we just multiply by by three 0 0.6 0 by 0 0.45 by 3 and then we say ditto the last two two items and then once we've deducted now the concrete now we need to cater for the cover and frame so the cover and frame from the schedule we were given for manual one and two which was light duty and then for manual three is medium duty so we just book it for manual one it's one by two and then we say 600 by 450 millimeters light duty cover and frame and then for manual two we just say 600 by 450 medium duty cover frame we go to form work so this slab of ours it needs form work if that is our slab we need form work on the soffit down here so if this is the wall So this here down here is our soffit underneath. So we are going to take the internal measurement, 1,000 by 800 and then 1.5 by, by 1,300 for the manual 3. So it's going to be 1.00 by 0 0.8 by 2. And then for manual 3 is 1.50 by 1.30. And then so on form, would form work to the soffit of the suspended slab. Then to the edges, these are our edges now those ones are our edges so for the edges it's going to be the entire length here is now 1300 by 1100 and the other one is 1500 sorry 1800 by 1500 so we book that one for the edges we book it in linear meter so this one supposed to be here It's supposed to be there. So 1.3 is two sides, this side and the other side. And remember, we have two manuals. So we multiply by two sides and then by two manuals. 1.1 is this side. Remember, we have two by two sides and then by two by two manuals. 1.8 is just two sides. 
this side and this side and then 1.5 is also is also two sides we also multiply by by two sides now we go to the cover we had a cover which was 600 by 450 so we need this frame that is going to to be placed on the slab for it to allow for the opening to be formed so we are going to add 600 plus 450 plus 600 plus 450 this is 1200 plus 900 that gives us 2100 so the linear length for the cover is 2100 and then how many are they there are three covers so all this is ditto to the a to the edges of the slab and and the cover Okay, now we are we are we are proceeding well we go to the wall finishes so our wall finishing is the plaster so we add our wall like that and then after the bench like that we add a plaster here so what we need for the plaster is for us to take the internal length and width it so this is a thousand plus 800 we find the perimeter that is 1600 by 2 that gives us that 200 the height the height of the wall for manual 1 and 2 the height of the wall was 1200 and then we had a benching of 200 so we subtract the 200 we get a thousand and then we proceed to manual 2 manual 2 we had 1500 by 1500 by 1200 that is giving us if we add that one it gives us 30 24 2700 and then we multiply by 2 that gives us 5400 the height was 2500 we subtract 200 it gives us 2300 so we book that one like that as i've demonstrated and then we say 12 millimeters thick one is to four cs plaster so guys that marks the end of our taking off quantities of a manual this i remember this is example two now of a manual we are done example one and i'm so glad that we are moving on well if you are new here kindly subscribe thank you for your time until next